Hello, this is Geometry, Topic 4-2, on the areas of shaded regions. So first, let's just go ahead and review how to find area of some of our shapes. Example 1, we find, want to find the area of this rectangle. Well, area of a rectangle is base times height. Well, I don't know my base, I do know my height, and I know this is a 30 degree, ang 30 degree angle. So that means that this is a 30 60, 90. So this would be x, this would be 2x, and this would be x on the square root of 3. So that means that this is 5, that means that this is 5 on the square root of 3. So 5 times 5 on the square root of 3 is 25 on the square root of 3. Let's go ahead and take a look at example number two. This is a square, which means that these are the same angle. This is a 45, 45, 90. So that means that this is x, this is x, and this is x on the square root of two. So this is 12 on the square root of two. That means that this one is 12, and this one is 12. And 12 times 12 is 144. On to example number three. Want to find the area of this? They've given us the radius. Well, the 60 degree angle that is here is cut in half to make a 30 degree angle. So we have x, 2x, and x on the square root of 3. So this is 8. That means that this would be 2x to x divided by 2, we get 4. And so this is 4 on the square root of 3. Now, <clears throat> because this is 4 on the square root of 3, we know 4, I can go ahead and use 1 half the perimeter times the apothem. That's 1 half times, well this is 4 on the square root of 3, makes that 8 on the square root of 3. So my perimeter 8 times 3 is 24 on the square root of 3 times the apothem of 4. So I put that in the calculator. I get 48 on the square root of 3. All very simple. Now example number five, area of a circle. We went over this yesterday with yesterday's assignment. It is pi r squared. With my radius being 10, it would be pi times 10 squared equals 100 pi, which is roughly uh, 314 .2. Let's go ahead and take a look at example number five. Well, now we want to find the area of the shaded region. So I've got two shapes. I've got a square and I've got a circle. Well, the area of the square would be eight times eight is 64. And now we have to find the area of the circle. Well, if this is eight, that means that my radius is Four. So, uh, area equals pi r squared. Area equals um, four squared times pi. So we're looking at sixteen pi. So the shaded region would be the square minus the circle. So that would be sixty-four minus sixteen pi which is approximately 
Now for number six, we have the area of a circle, we have the area of a triangle. Well, this is like the example on the other page. So if this is six, that means this is three. This is six on the square root of three. So uh, it means this whole side is 12. Uh, 12 on the square root of three. So my perimeter is 36 on the square root of 3. My hypotenuse 3. 1 half times 36 on the square root of 3 times 3. Is 54 on the square root of 3. Now my circle, this is also the radius of my circle. So, uh, Area here equals pi times 6 squared, which is 36 pi. Well, the circle is bigger than the triangle, so it's going to be 36 pi minus 54 on the square root of 3, which is approximately 2.5. Nineteen point fifty seven. Now I want you to notice that uh, I'm leaving things exact until the very last step. I'm not trying to figure out th what this is. I'm not trying to figure out what this is. I'm going to put them both in here and let the calculator take care of the rounding. Okay, I don't want to try to round it first because I might get something that's different. Okay. Uh, keep everything exact until the very end. Right, let's go ahead and look here. We have a trapezoid and a circle. I'm going to go ahead and find the circle. So the area of my circle equals, well, if this is 12, that means the radius is 6. Pi times 6 squared. So that's 36 pi. That was easy. Now the area of my trapezoid, uh, you can look at the formula chart. It is one half times B1 plus B2 times H. So the area of my trapezoid is one half times eight plus 12 times, we have to figure out what our height is. So let's have a look. If this is eight and this is 12, that means that this is eight we need to figure out what these sections are. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 4 left over. So if I put 2 and 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 makes the whole length. Well, this is a 30, 60, 90. So if this is 2, that means that this is 2 on the square root of 3. So my height is 2 on the square root of 3. Well, A equals 1 half times 20 times 2 on the square root of 3, which is 20 on the square root of 3. So I have my circle, which is 36, minus the trapezoid. So 36 pi minus 20 on the square root of 3 is roughly... Uh, 78.46. And so that was example number 7. And now on to the last example, number 8. We want to find the area of this shaded region. So, here we have a rectangle. Uh, I can find the area of my rectangle really easy. It's just going to be 16 times 12, which is 192. Now, if I'm my circle, it's going to be a little bit different. I need to figure out what this is. Well, this is a right triangle, so you use Pythagorean theorem. 16 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. And so 16 squared plus 12 squared is 400 and so 400 
equals c squared. If I take the square root of 400, I get 20. So that means that my diameter is 20, which means that my radius is 10. So area of my circle would be pi times 10 squared, which is 100 pi. Well, the circle is bigger, so 100 pi minus the circle at 192 is roughly 122.16. And so, not very hard. All you have to do is find the areas of the different shapes and subtract as needed. Um, make sure you always subtract the larger from the smaller and keep your numbers as exact until the very end. That way you get the correct answer. Well, this should be a fairly easy assignment. Uh, good luck and have a good day.